I'm trying to figure out all the things, y'all. Hello, 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 friends. Let's see. Are you going to work for me? Oh, good Lord. I'm trying to go live on Instagram as well. Um, and it's giving me the business. So give me two minutes to just figure that out so that all the people can be involved in my fun days of going live. Um, Data. I'm going to do the audience as public next. Let's see. Go live. Extreme software to go live. It won't let me go live on Instagram. I'm sorry, y'all. Instagram friends. Hello, 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 everyone. Whoever has joined me in the room so far, I see Haley and Ola Joe and How Crochets. Come on in the room. It is going to be an amazing Friday show. I have a fantastic guest today. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, I have Thomas Gregory, aka Gregory Stitch, joining me today. If you have been following these lives for a couple of years, uh, Gregory and I had our very first conversation in 2021 when I was doing my Maker Story series on the Furls pages. And he was so gracious. Our first video, he was outside and we couldn't hear each other. And then our second video, I was in my husband's studio and we looked, I looked crazy, like unprepared, didn't know what I was doing. Um, so this is going to be an amazing conversation, a great catch up because goodness knows this man has done so much over the last couple of years. And we are going to catch up um, and learn about all the amazing things that he's doing. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the chat now, and I will make sure that I get any and all of your questions answered. Um, we're just going to have fun today. So come on in, tag a friend, let somebody know that we's live. Hey, Vivian. Hi, Karen. Hi, my world of crochet. Come on in. Uh, Monica, hello to you. The kid 7691, hello, hello. Hey, Vicky, come on in, y'all. Y'all know I like to do a couple of minutes in the beginning to welcome everybody in, get our guests all situated and ready for this conversation. I'm excited. Can y'all tell? I put on my good head wrap today because I'm excited, honey. We're going to have a fabulous time. So come on in. Um, I'm going to give it like two more minutes. I want to get at least you know, a nice amount of people in the room before we get started. So come on in, tag somebody, let them know that we are live. I'm going to go over here and share it so that folks know we are live on the Furls Crochet pages. Um, and we're going to get this party started. Technology is not, technology is technology in today. Uh, how many of y'all so or uh, the Facebook and IG go down the other day. Y'all was acting crazy. I was like, oh, well, I guess I need to take a Facebook or Instagram fast. I'm so churchy. Um, but we're live now and we are making this happen. Okay, I'm going to try and get this live on the group here. Come on, folks. come on in, come on in, tell somebody. Hello, Gigi, the crochet queen. Welcome to the party. And oh, Thank you, Ola Joe. The International's De International Women's Day, everybody. We out here doing a darn thing. It is International Women's Day. It really did not go live on this page. This is just blasphemous. I don't know what's happening. All right. Well, we're here. Oh, it is on here. Okay, cracking my own self up. Um, all right, we got people in the room. Come on in, come on in. Let folks know that we are live. Let them know, let them know, tag them. Share, 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 share. This is gonna be a great show. Hello to you, uh, anonymous Facebook user from Northern Alberta, Canada. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this show started. So again, I am here joined by the illustrious Thomas Gregory of Gregory Stitch. Welcome him to the stage. 
Hello, hello, hello. Yes. <laughs> hello, 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 my friend. I Hi know earlier. Hello. How are you? I'm great. And how are you? Good. I'm doing great. I'm gonna so make great you to hear all the wonderfulness that's going on with you here. Introduce yourself to the folks who may not know you. Hello, everyone. For those who do not know me, my name is Thomas Gregory Hamilton, uh, AKA Gregory Stitch. I am a uh, crochet fashion designer. I've been crocheting for about uh, 12 years now. Um, I am, I, I've, I've done a lot of things. I've done a lot of fashion shows. I've been awarded, I've been, I've been awarded a lot of uh, awards, I guess. Um, and also, uh, let's see. Um, I was crowned the Prince of Crochet Couture over in the UK. So, yeah, that's who I am. <laughs> I mean, the Prince of Crochet Couture. How did that feel when you saw that come down? How did that feel? It was. It was. It was really. It was. It was just like, oh, that. That's amazing. You know, like that was. It was really, really like. And it was, I will say it was gratifying because it was just like, oh, all this hard work is finally paying off. People are, you know, starting to notice what I'm doing over here. So I'm just like, yeah, that, that felt really amazing. I'm just so like incredibly proud of you and proud of all that you have done in a short span of time. Because 12 years is really not a long, long time. That's a short span of time. What inspires you to keep going? Oh man, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the thing that inspired me to keep going um, after all these years of crocheting, I wanted to put the hook down so many times. Um, like I, I went through like this whole phase where I was just like, "Ugh, what's the point?" You know. But the thing that got that kept me moving was uh, my uh, my uh, followers. They they were the ones who kept encouraging me. They're the ones who were in my inbox when they when they when they know I was like I was just like I'm done. Over it. I was over it um, because I'm very transparent when I do things. So I'm very transparent and I like because I want people to know that I'm human as well. Um, and so they always send me messages like, oh, don't give up, don't give up. But also the number one thing that really kept me going was the people telling me, hitting me in my DMs or just commenting, saying that I inspired them to pick up their crochet hooks again. Uh, telling telling me how like I um, I saved their lives like, mm -hmm. because they were, they were depressed mm -hmm. um, um, and how they were moved by my, my work. Um, I remember one um, young lady, she was, um, she stitched my uh, video um, on the on the clock app, um, and uh, the whole time, like she was just crying, watching my video, just crying, and I was just like, yeah, I, I'm meant to do this. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's going. it's not it's not really just about the crochet; it's about everything that goes into the crochet. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's so important. I'm so. It's important. very important. Yeah. So <laughs> tell us what you okay. So you had a fashion show recently. Yes. Tell folks about El Fuego. Okay. So El Fuego was my very first um, official fashion show as the Gregory Stitch brand. Um, it was back in October. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> I, I can honestly say that. <clears throat> we, we were short, like, I mean, not short. We were um, small in... Um, as a crowd, but the love that was there was just so enormous. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I had people fly in, like come in from Florida, come in from California, come in from um, New York. And I was just like, it's for little old me? Oh my God. And it was, it was so amazing. Um, just the love that was in that room was amazing. And the support, oh my God, the way, um, People that I hadn't even met in person came backstage right before the show because they knew I was nervous and they knew I was struggling. And they, we, we, they wrapped their arms around me and they just prayed. And it was just like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just like, like even now I'm getting teary eyed because that that meant a lot to me. Yes. Um, so like the whole experience was just, it was it was amazing. Um, I premiered um, one of I want to say one of my best collections. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, oh, wearing it right now, displaying it right yes. now. <laughs> yes, 
but uh <laughs> But uh, I want to say I, this was like one of my my best collections, and I I it, it, it was everything that I could have dreamed of. Uh, but we know I know that the, the more is yet to come. But it's just in that moment, for, for that being it's the, the, my first one, by like, it was the best feeling ever. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and kudos to you. I got a chance to watch it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to come. I really wanted to, though. Um, but I did get it. I bought the virtual ticket and I got a chance to watch it. And it was just amazing. Tell us about the sweater you're wearing right now. Oh, well, gosh. Um, this OK, so this is um, <laughs> I'm going to do a Wakanda. <laughs> but no, yeah. uh, this is a. Um, a, 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 a like a jacket sweater that I uh, really I saw it in my head like years ago, and I didn't know when or how I was going to um, do it. But I was like, you know, I'll do it for my show. And like um, to me, um, it, it were, I don't know if I can even stand up. I can't even stand up right now without being out of shot. But it kind of reminded me of like almost like a matador, yeah. and it and it ties in perfectly with El Fuego. Mm -hmm. uh, which literally trans uh, it's, it's of course it's a, a, a Spanish word that translates to the fire mm -hmm. um, and um, this piece is actually called the prince um, and so uh, and it's so crazy I didn't think about that prince of crochet couture prince of um, uh, what you got the prince I didn't even think about that yeah. but anyway <laughs> revelation but no <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, this it's it's um, made with uh, this is this is acrylic yarn um mm -hmm. it's uh it's a metallic red um held and metallic gold held together with um uh double stranded with some gold and red um uh, sequins uh thread i crocheted it together wow. and um and so so is like the whole the lattice part of it and then after that um i um after i got all that together i sewed like all the uh pearls onto it so wait it has pearls it it, uh, it has pearls Y'all, yep. it has pearls. Y'all see the pearls? The pearls. Diamonds Baby. and pearls. Baby. <laughs> how, how long did it take you to make that? It, it, I'm going to be honest with you. This actually took a while. It took like maybe, whew, I'm going to say probably three months to make this because it, it honestly, it takes me no time to make a, um, like a, a, a sweater or a jacket. But this, with all the details on it, baby, <laughs> mm -hmm. that would like I was I would work on it. And I was I was like, nope, can't do it today. I can't do it. I can't do no more today. I'm done. Because it it I'm telling you, like this stitch is so it's so intricate and so like time consuming. You have to make sure everything is right. Precise. And so I was just like, Lord. <laughs> so uh, not to get into too much of the details, but. How the lattice is that crocheted in, or is it on top, or like? Oh, it's actually. Uh, look, look now, I, you're gonna see the inside. I didn't, I didn't tie in all the ends. <laughs> but we crochet is here. Don't worry about it. Don't but, worry. But um, it. It, it's worked in. It's worked in. So it is color. It's like color work. So definitely, definitely. Because I'm, I'm every time I have to do a treble on this, like mm -hmm. a, a a treble to uh go to or go on the slant or make that V. I would change the color. So I'm I'm carrying the yarn through. So it's tapestry crochet. Mm -hmm. So oh, honey, it's baby. absolutely <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us about the pieces behind you. Every time I interview you, you always have something behind you that's like, <laughs> I can't see what he's saying from looking at what's behind him. So I don't know what I call this, but it's <laughs> So this is a dress that I actually, um, this, babe, let me tell y'all something. This dress <laughs> was a labor of love. Like, I tell you, if I, I'm going to tell you, if I was a beginner crocheter and I, I decided to do this, I, I would have thrown it out a long time ago. <laughs> but this took me literally nine months to create. It took me literally nine months because of the beadwork. Um, having to, I sold every single, I wish I could lift it up, but. Lift it up, show it. That's a beat. But I beat it, this, like the whole thing, like even on the, like the back, like there's beads. 
So this took me like nine months and then I had to create every single panel and every every ounce of this piece is uh, it has a texture on it. Um, so it's it took me nine months to create this baby. Oh so, my goodness. But I, I absolutely me. love her. She is that's this is my girl. This is my girl. She is fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Fabulous. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But yeah, so that baby, let me tell you, she is whew, I'm gonna push her back. I love her to death. Wow. <laughs> so for something like that, like so here, I want to know how would you get this into a New York fashion week? Like, how do you get this on a larger stage? So that could be on Beyonce's body one day. Like, how do we do this? What, what do we need to do? Well, baby, I'll just ask y'all to share. That's all I need y'all to do is share. Like a lot of, there was like, what was that? It was a, uh, um, there was like a, a sound bite going around that people were using in their like Instagram lives, or well, not Instagram, but their reels or on TikTok. It was like, oh, how come you're not famous yet? How come you're not a millionaire yet? Because you're not sharing my stuff. You're not sharing my work. And so I just encourage people to share, just share. If you know somebody that knows somebody, share. So. Yeah. This, um, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> no, I was just, you know, and then the other, the other piece on the other side of you. I don't know what's going on with her. Oh. She's got. I mean, she's got all kinds of things happening. Oh, she has everything going on over here. She really does. This okay. So this piece. Um, it's this is. I don't know if you remember, like I had a granny square, like it was a purple granny square um, jacket, almost similar to this, but yes, um, it had all the beads and the whistles. And I, I made a cream one for a client that would, the video went viral. Yes. And um, I said, you know what? I want to do a, like a long, like duster uh, or a cloak type of um, version of that. And so that's so what I did for El Fuego. Um, I everything this whole thing is made out of granny squares. Um, uh, let's see, and this is also studded with pearls, pearls here, and it also has what I can never say the name right Swarovski, Swarovski, yeah, I can't even work. It it has those crystals on there. Um, and also, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I also, let's see, I also maybe at the bottom, yeah. I also added grommets to it to get to step it up to have give it a more of a um, a different texture effect to it. Um, so you have the soft with the hard, the metal. So I really want to play on that because um, I really that's my aesthetic. I love having the soft with the hard um, as, uh, things going on, uh, but also oh, also on the sleeves. And I don't know if you get like this is like my signature sleeve thing because it's also on here. <laughs> so. And it, oh, I'm sorry. It also has chains. So I mean, I mean, so. I just, I just, I, you know, whenever I see your pieces, I automatically, obviously, know that it is a Gregory Stitch creation, right? <laughs> because it's always over the top. <laughs> it's always over the top, and it always has so much texture. Like everything you make has so much texture, and I yeah. love it. So. Why, yeah. why texture? What what's with you and texture? I don't, you know, and it's it's it's. I don't know. I think it's because I love the the beauty of it. I really do love the beauty of it. Um, because I hate when um, because it's, it's been said so many times that you know, uh, and this is what got me really into texture. Um, uh, when someone said, um, oh, you can't, you can, you can do this with knitting, but you can't do this with crochet. And the lies they tell, honey. Sorry. Right. And so I'm the type of person to prove another person wrong. That's that's me. I, I like to prove people wrong. I, I like to do the research and I like to, you know, um, do things. Uh, and one of my favorite quotes is just because um, it hasn't been done before doesn't mean it's impossible. So right. um, I, I, I live. Oh, no. Is he frozen? Oh, am I? Frozen. Who's frozen? Who's frozen, y'all? Gregory, come back to us. Oh no. Ola Joe, is he frozen or am I frozen? He is. 
Oh, dead nabbit. Okay, I'm not frozen, so I'm going to keep talking until he come back. I'm going to drop him from the stream and then hopefully... Oh, are you back? Okay, I'm you're back. back. I'm Ooh, back. Child, you was gone for a minute and I was losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was over here like, okay, I guess this is this is how we're doing it. <laughs> All right, go. Come on back to us. Okay, you're back. Well, could you hear me, though? No. Really? We oh, heard, God. We, the last thing we heard was you um, sharing that motto of just because it hasn't been done doesn't mean it can't be or something like that. Yeah, exactly. So okay. That's the last thing we heard. Okay. But yeah, texture is just, it's my, it, it's it's like a staple of my uh, my fashion brand. It's, 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 it really is now because I absolutely love, uh, and, it, and it really does for me because um, architecture is really one of my, um, it's really one of my, uh, what do you call it? Um, inspirations for a lot of my pieces. And I absolutely love architecture. I love especially um, like a Baroque like style or a medieval style like cathedral or um, building or a house like that has all these details on it. That and it and it, it inspires me to add like texture to whatever I'm doing. If I see something, I'm like, oh, that pattern is interesting. Let's see if we can find that in crochet. And so <laughs> and that's what I um that's what I um um, I, I I love about texture. Um, and actually, um, where is it? It's downstairs. But the um, Egyptian dress that I did, um, I that listen, now listen. I Chat. I I want to see. Here's the thing. I love I love. Okay, so I wanted to pay like respect to the actual history of ancient Egypt. And so mm. what I did, like a lot of a lot of the pieces that I do, I do a lot of research. I do a lot of cultural uh, research on things to make sure I'm not offending anyone or anything of that mm. nature. So, um, I did the research on that um, on uh, what is that Egyptian um, mm, textiles, mm -hmm. and um, one of the uh, stick. I mean, what is it? one of the uh, textile patterns was the um, what is it herringbone. It was mm. like, er, like that's the earliest um, that it was ever recorded or used. It was ancient Egypt, and okay. um, what I did was I uh, I wanted to incorporate incorporate that stitch into my dress. And so, when, knowing this knowledge, I used like the herringbone throughout that um, that dress to construct it um, mm -hmm. because I wanted to stay true and I want to play homage to ancient Egypt. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> so <laughs> that's Sorry. what I did. And you did it so well. Like <laughs> thank you. So well. So we do have a couple of questions. So first one is um is there a crochet technique to add jewels as you crochet? Like how do you do them? Crochet a pocket around them. Mm -hmm. Like crochet a pocket around them. Is there a crochet technique to add jewels? <clears throat> excuse me, as you crochet like crochet a pocket around them now i know i know they're like if you're adding like pearls like and depending on the uh the the weight of the yarn of the hook size as well um you can um add you can add uh what is it you add the pearls to the um to your strand that you're working with um, or your uh, yarn that you're working with, I'm sorry. Um, and as you crochet and you wanna place a certain like pearl or bead in a certain area, you can just, you know, either slip stitch it or work it into the stitch that way. I know of that way of doing it while you're um, crocheting, but any other way, I, I'm not quite sure. Um, or uh, it might be a way that you can just attach it to it while you're crocheting. But um, the only other way I know of other than that, it's just sewing it on by hand, or if you want to hot glue it or E6000 on, go for it. So, but what what is your go to technique? Like uh, my go to technique, it's either it's that version of just uh, like having like a long strand of like beads or pearls on um on my yarn, and as I go doing that. But also, I use E6000 for a lot of the other things, like mm. these these rhinestones on here. I had to um. I had to get the E6000, baby, and just click, tick, tick. And like, it's so durable. Like, it, it doesn't come off at all. So, okay, cool. So, another question is with all the metals, does it make the wearable heavy? Oh, no, baby, not at all. Child, no, not at all. This is like, seriously, with especially with the, uh, with the grommets, these things are light as a feather. 
Like really, really. Oh, I wish I had one on near me. But it's like it's like really. It's it probably weighs as much as a um actually probably less than like an actual actual pearls. It, it weighs less than an actual pearl. Like those things are very lightweight. So. So it doesn't make the garment heavy. And like for a garment like that, how do you care for it? Like this is not something you gonna wash. Oh baby. Like, how do you care for it? Well, that's one thing about this. Um, I, I usually just wash it by hand and um I just try to make sure that um that it doesn't rust. Um like especially these let me tell you something. This is not actual um this is not real, uh, of course, not real gold or whatever like that. So I know that this is going to rust. I know that. And but of course, this if so if I were to do this for a client, like I would like specialize in like some really durable grommets and stuff like that. Um that would sustain um sustain its uh color in um it's yeah well it's color in the wash or just wash by hand or probably take it to a dry cleaner um okay. but i would make i would invest in that so all of my pieces are pretty much sample pieces yes. but um when i make it for clients of course i i'm going out and getting the stuff that i really need to yeah. make sure that this stuff is durable honey so yeah. <laughs> that makes sense that makes yeah. sense so now let's talk about the stitch factor Tell us all about it. So I all need to right, know guys. Who, when, why, how. I need to know all the information about the Stitch Factor. Go. Okay, let's go back <laughs> to the beginning. Um, let's. Okay, so I really, really wanted. Um, for a long time, I, I've I've been, I've been frustrated about how like crochet, uh, knitwear, uh, anything that has to do with um, the fiber arts fashion wasn't really getting that much attention. Yes, it'll, it'll, it'll be worn um, here and there by this um, celebrity or that celebrity and it gets a little attention, but then it dies back down like it's nothing, like it's just a trend or a fad. And it, it, kind, of, it kind of made me mad. And I was just like, <clears throat> you guys really don't get it. The way like the world is going now, the way how the fashion industry is moving now, it's going towards more of a sustainable, sustainable uh, fashion industry right now. And um, crochet, knit, macrame, weaving, like all of those, all of those things, that is the future. That is a sustainability. And when it happens, because it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And we can't stop this train because it's already happening. Um, I want to make sure that crochet, that we are, we're at the front of that line. Because baby, if you're looking for sustainability, it's right here, baby. It's right, it's right here. here. And I, I said to myself, how can I make this possible? How can I make this possible? Because there are so many amazing so many amazing uh, crocheters, knitters, uh, macrame uh, designers, uh, weave uh, designers. Um, I said, you know what? Let's do a competition. And, and like, it was just like, okay, why a competition? Why? Why are you putting us against each other? Why? 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 Well, here's the thing. I honestly believe that iron sharpens iron, mm -hmm. and. The way that this competition, hear me out. The way this competition is going to push you, mm. it's going to push you to be the designer that you've always wanted to be. Yes. I honestly believe that. The way I have this thing set up, baby, it's going to really, really push you. And not, okay, so here's the thing. So, It's not only going to push you, but what you're going to get out of this, out of this competition, um, you're going to get, even so here's the thing, even if you don't win, you're going to get a lot, like a lot of exposure because I'm bringing in someone who is a very like knowledgeable in the fashion arena, who's actually is a, uh, what is that? Um, editor in chief of a magazine, of a fashion magazine. And he's well known and, um, I'm just gonna bring him on and you guys, I'm telling you, the exposure that you're going to get, baby, is, is going to be immaculate. And so um, 
that's what I want. That's mm -hmm. exactly what I want because it's going to, it's going to, because here's the thing, people watching the competition, they're going to be like, oh my God, I didn't know you could do that with crochet. I didn't know you could do that with knit. Oh my God, you could do that with weaving. Oh, like macrame does that. Like mm -hmm. it's going to open up so many doors for other people, for the younger generations. Like maybe it's going to open up like so many doors. And I don't always say, look, I'm gonna build this door. Like, here's the thing. If the fashion world won't let me in there or all these right. other things won't let me in that door, I'm right. gonna build my own door, right? So I can walk yeah. through, but I'm gonna leave the door open so that others may walk in behind me. Yes. So that's what yes. we're doing. That's what we're trying to do. Because I, I guarantee you after this show, after this competition, baby, it's going to go down. <laughs> now, the winner, the winner of this competition is um, going to receive $3,000 for themselves, or you can apply it to your business. Um, your business, do it for your business. But um, <laughs> but um, you're going to receive $3,000. So the competition is going to be September 28th here in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, okay. listen, I know you may, I know you may be saying, I know you may be saying, oh, I can't come to Atlanta. Oh my God, why is it so far? I'm in another country. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If selected, if selected, um, you have the choice to either come in person or um, send your garments in. Mm. Send your garments in uh, for the competition. But we're, we're praying that you come because we really want to meet you. We really want to, um, we really want to, uh, you know, again, meet you. We want you to uh, experience it. I, I'm telling you, it's not. This is not going to be anything like it. Just being surrounded by other people who have who are on the same wavelength as you, as you, or learning for people who maybe are just a little bit more advanced than you. You know, it's going to be amazing. The energy. We want you in that energy, so you can go back and you can inspire other peoples from where you come from. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. So ex explain to us like the, the process, how could somebody apply? Is it too mm -hmm. late? Do they have time? Like all that information. Okay. So here's the thing, y'all, if you're interested, if you're interested, we are now, we are now, we are now accepting submissions. Oof. We are now accepting submissions until the 15th of March. March 15th is our cutoff date. Okay. and from the 16th through the 17th, we will be making our selections. Um, and if you are, if you want to submit, all you need to do is send, you can, and I'm telling people to do a, um, a lookbook of their work. Um, mm. So basically a lookbook is just like a, a like a, a PDF, if you will, a digital PDF, a digital lookbook. Uh, it'll be um, a PDF, PDF with your work that you have done um, and the description of your work and things of that nature. We're telling them to send that in to, um, what is the website? I mean, a website email, because I have two of them. Stitchfactorcompetition at gmail.com. Again, that's stitchfactorcompetition at gmail.com. But the thing is, if you don't have a lookbook and you don't have time to make one right now, you can just send in your, just send in your shots, okay? Send in images of your work so that the judges will make their selections, okay? Okay. okay, and now here's the thing: we're the selection that we're doing now is not for the winner of the competition. The selections that we're doing right now is to, is to see who's going to be a contestant for the first season. I'm saying season because I, I'm speaking that we're going to have a TV show. Um, uh, the first season of Stitch Factor. Okay. And those uh, contestants will be announced later this month. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, oh, well, I guess that's it. I was about to say the same thing, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm just putting in the um e the email address. So Stitch S T S T Stitch Factor, Factor Competition, competition at, gmail. at Gmail. Okay. So that's their lookbook that they should send. Is there a form or application or anything like that that they need, you know? Oh, no, not yet. They okay. so the contestants will they will receive all that information once they are selected and then we will start that process for them. Okay. Cool. So, 
should designers who are interested in like runway shows and things like that already start thinking about a lookbook, even if it's not for the stitch factor? Can you Baby. give them a little? Yeah. Baby, let me tell you that. Let me tell you something. Okay. So a designer who's a, who's a, uh, or any designer period, not even just a crochet or knit or whatever, any designer, any fashion designer who wants to really like seriously get into the fashion industry should have a lookbook for every single collection that you do. Uh, say for instance, you, if, even if it's not like a collection or if you done like, you wanna do like three pieces for, um, or three, uh, what is it, uh, halter tops for summer. That needs to um, be in a lookbook form. Why? Um, it, it doesn't all have to be in a lookbook form, but you all you want to you can share it on social media. But also, you want to have a lookbook. You want to have your shots in a lookbook form. Why? Because, say for instance, you want um, like a, a, a you want to send your work to like a celebrity stylist or any kind of stylist. Um, the professional thing to do is have a nice clean lookbook so that they can see your work and see like what the materials are, what mm. it's, um, um, what sizes it goes up to the names of it, if it has a name. Um, and you don't have to put pricing on there. You can tell them to contact you for pricing, or if you just want to lend them that garment or give it to them. Um, yeah, but, um, That's so smart. I, yeah. I think this is information that people who are up and coming really don't know. Like if they haven't gone to fashion school or taken yeah. any classes or anything like that. Now I know in the past you have given classes. Do you still do that? Oh um, yeah, or, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I actually have a class. Oh, I forgot I have a class tonight. Uh, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I have a class. I have a class tonight, Lord, baby. Cause it's, it's my birthday weekend. So, you know, I've been, okay. you know, um, but um <laughs> but um let me see um oh yes class tonight but i i what do I have a, i have a, a jacket making class tonight i'm in that class but course that's going on it started last week it's going to be a six-week um course um but also like i i'm i'm gonna i want to do more fashion like business of fashion um courses or classes because a lot of people i'm noticing that a lot of us crocheters and knitters and fiber designers we they they don't know and i find that to be a disadvantage for us because and, I, and that's i feel like that's another reason why we're, we're still in the dark about a lot of things um it's because um we don't know and and of course the fashion industry they're not they don't want to tell us because they don't consider us to be real designers um so um this is like mind boggling to me because if they just look at what you have on right now mm. and you say I, not only did i design this like i drew this up this was in my mind i put it on paper and then i took a hook and some yarn and i mm -hmm. made this how could yeah. you discredit that i don't yeah i don't get it <laughs> i don't get it but it's it's that they don't consider us to be and so um um, I, I want to help. I want to help. Like, I really want to help us. Um, if they will allow me, if they will allow me, um, I want to help. Um, but, um, I also have, what is that? Also, and I, I, I spoke too soon of it yesterday, but it, the cat's already out the bag. But, um, um, I have a, I'm doing, okay. And I'm praying to God that this, <laughs> this, that everything works out right for this, but. I am going to be doing my very first ever crochet, crochet, uh, what is it, dressmaking course. So um, I'm doing that in May. Registration starts on the 17th of um, March. Um, and the class is like, and, I, and people are saying, oh, your class is so low. Why are you charging $200 for one? It's my very first um, dressmaking class. And so sometimes it's hard for me to, um, show other people how i do my work and so this for me this is like a test run but also mm -hmm. um maybe this economy so I, yeah. baby i want to i want to help people you know yeah. like i seriously want to help people uh yeah. and, and i don't just talk about it i really want to be about it so by like, taking it down to that um level or that mm -hmm. price i think it's really going to help other people you know who really want this so 
I love this. <laughs> I love that. Anytime, I mean, I'll come. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's everything that you're doing is just amazing. And what I love about you is that you're not keeping it to yourself. Oh, um, no. you're making, you know, you're you're sharing your knowledge, you're passing it down and saying, Hey, if I can do it, so can you. Um, yeah. and that that's really, really a, a wonderful thing, which makes you the prince of of crochet, and we love it. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you have so much going on. You got the stitch factor, you got classes that you're doing, you got your birthday this weekend. Like, we are, I mean, you just turned baby. 24. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to share with the audience? Anybody have any other questions? I want to make sure I get everybody's questions answered. Let's see. Uh, here we go. We got a question. Is the changing fashion culture changing the way fiber artists are being viewed? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say yes. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to say, definitely say yes. Again, um, the, the world, I'm not even going to say the fashion world, but the world itself is moving more into a more sustainable, um, sustainable, um, state of being and so that means you know getting rid of a lot of the, the fast fashion a lot of people are trying to um cut that out because the pollution um you know uh what is it climate change and all those things and one of the biggest the biggest um contributors to like like the, the the destruction of this planet with the with the climate change and stuff like that is the fashion industry and they know they know this and so they're making huge changes uh huge changes to what they're how they um uh operate and mm -hmm. so i honestly believe that like the fiber designers are being looked at right now like mm -hmm. i don't i don't i don't and like i don't know if you've noticed how all these um these designers who sew who actually sew on a machine they're going out and thrifting crochet blankets thrifting yep. crochet um like other things or knitted things cutting them up yep. and making garments out of it yeah and here's yep. the thing mm -hmm. oh, and also not only that we have these major companies like gucci prada uh uh louis vuitton uh mm -hmm. Balmain, um mm -hmm. they're all like incorporating crochet um, like like hand crochet and hand. Well, of course, crochet is hand. But right. uh, I can hand. We, can we pause right there? Um, can you talk a little bit about crochet being handmade only? Like this is something that I like to make Baby. sure that I say. Talk, talk. Very Let me tell you something that. real quick. Yes. This not for y'all who know. This for the people who don't know, and we saying it loud so the back of the room can hear. Go ahead and say it, sir. Go ahead. Say it. Now listen say to me, good. Baby, you can try as you may to replicate this mess, not this mess, but you can try to replicate that mess with uh, whatever knitted machine or whatever like that, but it's not crochet. It is definitely not crochet. Yeah. Yeah. The art of crochet is done by hand yeah. and definitely cannot be made by machine. It cannot. Someone, someone can. For those who don't know, they're going to be. Someone can tell them, "Oh yeah, this is crochet. This is handmade." And baby, right. it, this is nothing but uh, knit stitches that look like crochet. Right. It's not. It's not. It can only be done by hand. That's right. That's right. Okay. I was I was talking to a group of young people last week. I did a little show at a school and their black empowerment and i was telling them that if you go into a store and you see crochet please do not buy it because that was made by somebody working in a Baby. sweat shop don't exactly. do it so okay all right i'm sorry i mean no, you're fine you're right they are they're, they're, they're making but, pennies yeah, like they're making nothing and it's not right it's not and this is right. as you know it takes time it takes like so much time and so much work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you're only like paying them like pennies like what in the world so do you do the whole world a favor especially those who are making it and do not buy it do not buy it 
And if you really want to um like support or oh, wear crochet, ask, go to a crochet designer. We out here. We are we definitely out here. out here. Yep. So and we ready to do the work. That part. That part. <laughs> um, I'm but sorry. what was that? I had but to get yeah. That out. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but yeah, that's how I see it. That's how I see it. So yeah, we're we're definitely being looked at right now. Definitely. I'm gonna make sure of it and <laughs> that we do it, that we are out there. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. I'm just elated, you know, that you are here for us and that you are working your magic um, to get the fiber arts world seen and heard and mm -hmm. on runways and in the places so that people can really see the talent that is available to them, that there are so many talented artists out there doing yes. amazing things with a dang on hook and yes. yarn. Baby, like, that part. Hook and string making fabric somebody posted in there you know we're making the fabric and creating yes. these pieces so kudos yes. to you and all the amazing designers who are watching i really celebrate you guys um and i'm i'm here for it i am here for it i am yes. here for the Stitch Factor competition. For those of you who are interested, um, I know somebody did ask, you have a website, is it the Stitch Factor? Oh yes, or, yes, thank okay. you. Oof. So the website okay. is Stitch, it's, it's the same thing, stitchfactorcompetition.com. Okay. Yeah. Stitchfactorcompetition.com. Yeah, and all the information that you need is on there. Okay, perfect. Well, all the information you need right now, so. <laughs> I'm excited for you. And, you know, when I saw your, your first post, I was like, look, at Netflix, at Paramount, at everybody, all the people, at all the people, this needs to be on a network. Like, the but world you, you, needs to see this. You know, one thing, though, like, when I was I was in California a couple of, uh, years ago, and I was working on a different show, and um, I was trying to get them, because my idea was to have a competition, a fashion competition that was on television I would then i was talking to producers about it i was like hey what if we did this what if we did that and da, da, da. and it was like well i don't know if there's a there's going to be an audience for that and because it's because that's such an, a, a a niche or niche thing and um they were like i don't think there's going to be an audience for that and the thing is we don't know for any um any networks are going to pick it up and i'm just like oh Oh, so you, you so you don't you don't see the vision, you don't believe in it. Okay. Right. Um, and so I'm just like, okay, well, you know what? Let's just create first, let's let's just do it an in-person competition mm -hmm. and then grab the the attention of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then again, remember, I like to prove people wrong. And yes. so, and then like I, I, what I want to do, I want to get to the point where we just start like one uh one season, we just start filming the process of it you know mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. not for network or just filming just start filming it the whole mm -hmm. process of it and uh package it and then mm -hmm. try to sell it to networks that way mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. what i really want to do yeah if if you can't go in the front door i'm gonna go through the side door i'm gonna go through the cellar and walk my go way the the stairs, baby. baby because there, there is opportunity out there and i think that the world needs to see this and be amazed by the things that crocheters and knitters and embroidery and yes. all it, like it's just amazing and i think yes. be like enamored by it so keep going now of course we're, we're on the furls page so i got to talk about furls of course <laughs> talk about furls so how did you manage to get furls to be a sponsor well um well 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 closed mouths don't get fed that's, how, that's okay. all i can say <laughs> closed mouths don't get fed and so um what happened uh, so how did that happen i can't even remember how that happened well i think it was i was um I was using a hook, I was, yes, that's right. I was using a furls hook one day in one of my videos and I tagged them in it. And um, they uh, they sent me, uh, they sent me a, a DM and it was like, oh, send us your address. Like we would love to send you these hooks. And of course they sent me the beautiful streamlined hooks. Baby, those things are gorgeous. I, I, I don't even want to use those. Those are still in the box because baby, those things are so pretty. 
like like I put them. Believe it or not, I put a hook on the end of them and that part. And I, I and like because they're so gorgeous, I hung them on my Christmas tree this past year as ornaments. <laughs> yeah. Did not. Because they were so pretty and they went with my theme. I was like, oh my God, these are so gorgeous. <laughs> and it, 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 it took it to a whole, I wish I had pictures. It took it to a whole uh, new level. It really did. I love um, it. But, um, but yeah, they sent me the hooks. And then I, I sent them a message. I was like, you know what? I, don't know, I want Furls to be like a sponsor. And so what I did was I sent them a, um, I sent them a uh, uh, email or a message asking about if they could be, um, a sponsor for the Stitch Factor competition, and then um, uh, we had a we had a conversation. We did a, a Zoom call, had a conversation about it, talked about it, and they were on board. They were on board, and I was just like, "Oh my gosh!" I didn't really think this was going to happen. <laughs> oh my god! And now Furls like is the official sponsor of the competition, and I am like. Holy crap, like this is amazing. Like I I didn't I don't, I don't, I'm just getting <laughs> well congratulations. Furls is an amazing partner and an amazing company. Um, you have you know, all of us here who are on this live love this brand, love the hooks, and are passionate about it. So we love to see when there is synergy between the brand and with designers that we know and love. Yes. And I'm, so excited and and so happy for you. Like I am so happy for you. From where we were in 2021 Maybe. for our first interview to where we are now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Many things have changed and it is just a wonderful place to be. So while we're here. I, I'm going to do a giveaway of a $25 gift certificate to somebody who's been watching and commenting um, and being involved in this amazing conversation. So I'm just going to scroll the comment section and you tell me to stop. And that person is going to be the winner. And I'm ready whenever you are. You tell me when to stop. Oh, me. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, hold on. Wrong way. Sorry. You know what? I want you to stop. Right? <laughs> No. Right now. Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations to you, the neck is snail. You are the winner of a $25 furls gift certificate. Um, all you need to do is email support at furlscrochet.com. Thank you so much for being an active participant in this conversation today. Um, share the love, let people know that we were live with the Thomas Gregory. Hamilton today, and we talked all about the Stitch Factor and all the amazing things. I am, again, so proud of you, so excited for you, and I, you know, just can't wait to see how the Stitch Factor competition comes to fruition, um, the winner, all the people who are going to submit. I mean, it's going to be amazing. I'm yeah. excited. I'm so excited. Am I. <laughs> Happy National Crochet. Well, is it international? International Crochet Month um, to you. Thank you. To you. <laughs> thank, you uh, thank you again for hanging out with me this morning. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yucking it up for almost an hour. <laughs> it's fine, child. It's fine. Right? Uh, have a great show. Not show, but well, speak that into fruition too. You got another something coming up. But have a great class tonight. And when's your actual birthday? It's Sunday, the 10th. Oh, happy, happy, happy early birthday to you. I hope Thank you, you. Fun and that you were treated like the prince you are, darling. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, I'm going to drop you off and I'm going to say bye to my friends and I'll see you again very soon. Okay. Y'all, I just love him so, 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 so much. Please make sure that you are following um, the Stitch Factor, it's at Stitch Factor Official on Instagram to make sure that you know exactly what's going on with the brand. And um, if you want any more information about Stitch Factor competition, go to the website. I put it in the comment section. 
this has been an amazing live. I hope you all had a great time and that you have a fabulous weekend. Make sure you're taking good care of your body. Make sure you're checking out the Furls Crochet website to see if there's any amazing things going on. I know there was a two buy to get one um, sale going on. So make sure you are attentive to your emails. If there are any discounts or any fun things that the team has going on there. Congratulations to the Naked Snail on your $25 gift certificate. Uh, and I'll see you all next week. Have a wonderful International Women's Day. Bye, everyone.